Hello everyone, I just want to talk about one-step equations. So, when I ask you to solve equations, that means I want you to find the variable, so x or y. So now, let's start with, there are three ways to solve equa one-step equations. So I will start with the first one, which is mental math. So mental math, you use it if you are in a hurry, you are very smart and you don't need to waste your time. So if you have, for example, 3x equals 12, just ask yourself, x here represents a number. So x times 3 equals 12. So 3x equals 12. So what is the number that if I multiply it by 3, I'm going to get 12. So it's 4. It's obvious. What about like 5x equals 20? x is 5 because 4 times 5 is 20 so those kind of things like x minus 3 equals 2 so what is the number that if I subtract 3 from it I'm gonna get 2 it's 5 so x divided or x over 10 equals 2 what is the number that if you divide it by 10 you are gonna get 2 so x is 20 so those things so let's go for evaluation now it's your first question find x or solve the one step equation. The first question is 13x equals 26. Question 2. Negative 5x equals 20. Question 3. 7x equals 49. Question 4. x over 5 equals 7. Question 5. x plus 2 equals 10. Question 6. x minus 3 equals 4. Question 7, x minus 11 equals negative 1. Question 8, x minus 1 equals negative 1. Question 9, x over negative 2 equals negative 2. Question 10, negative 3x equals 6. So please try to answer those, those questions. Now the second way of solving one-step equations is like, doing the opposite for example if i have x plus 3 equals 5 you just ask yourself i added 3 to x to make it 5 so you just subtract 3 from both sides so if i have x plus 3 equals 5 so you just need to do the opposite thing which is subtracting because here i added 3 to x so you need to subtract 3 in equations if you subtract from this side a number you need to do the same thing on the other side Otherwise, it's not going to be an equation because it equal, it's about equality. So this side must equal to this side. So you need to do the same thing in both sides. So minus 3 from both sides, you are going to get 2. x equals 2. So the other one, let's say x is multiplied by 6. So 6, 6 equals 30. So x is multiplied by a number, so you need to do the opposite. So you need to divide both sides by 6. So x will be 5. What if x is divided by a number? Like for example, I have x over 2 equals 4. So x here is divided by 2 already, so I need to do the opposite. What's the opposite of division? Multiplication. So I need to multiply both sides by 2 not by 4 because x is divided by 2 so I will multiply both sides by 2 so this 2 will be eliminated with this 2 so x will be alone x equals to 8 what if x is subtracted by a number like I have x minus 10 equals 2 just ask yourself what is the opposite of subtraction addition so I will add 10 for to both sides to keep x alone so x should be isolated so 12 so my job or my task here to isolate x so your task here always to isolate x leave it alone now there is a third way of doing it just let me clean the board so the third way which is like moving the numbers to the other side but remember that works only for addition and subtraction for example if I have x plus 3 equals negative 2 let's say instead of subtracting 3 from both sides I just can remove 3 and put it in the other side which is move it to the other side but you need to change the sign don't forget you need to change the sign so this 3 positive 3 
I will move it to the other side after equal. So it will be negative. So x will be negative 2 minus 3. So I changed the sign to 3. I made it negative. So x equals negative 5. So it worked with me with addition. What if there is subtraction like this? x minus 1 equals 10. Same thing. Instead of adding 1 to both sides, you can do that thing. And I always told, told my students to do that. Move negative 1 to the other side, it's going to be positive. So here I have isolated x already. Leave 10 as it is. Negative 1 will be positive 1 because I moved it after the equal sign. So x is 11. So this is all about one-step equations. Now it's your task. Use the way that you like, first, second, or third, by answering questions from 11 to 20. Get ready. Question 11. X minus 1 equals 10. Question 12. X over negative 3 equals 7. Question 13. 3X equals negative 9. Question 14. X minus 1 equals negative 3. Question 15. Negative 7X equals 14. Question 16 x over negative 3 equals 2 question 17 x over 3 equals 10 question 18 negative 7 x equals 7 question 19 negative x equals 1 question 20 is x minus 100 equals 1000 please answer the questions 1 to 20 that's all about one step equations I always use mental math because it's just very easy. If you cannot do that, just do the opposite. So ask yourself, if x is added to something, you need to subtract from. Or like if there is a number subtracted from x, you need to, uh, to add this number to both sides. Like for example, I have x minus 5, you need to add 5 to both sides. If x is already multiplied by something, you need to divide by it, both sides. If x is divided by a number, you need to multiply by this number in both sides. Thank you.